welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. You know, it has been a while since I've explained what the JSS is, so I'm going to explain it to you. The JSS stands for Jet Stealth Squadron. Now, if you would like to join the JSS, then click in the video description and you'll see a Discord server. That's the JSS. All you gotta do is copy and paste that link into your browser and hit join and boom. Simple as that. Now, we are experiencing a deficit in, in PlayStation players and especially Switch players. And to you Switch players, I'm sorry, but y'all got it rough. Y'all got it rough. But anyways, yeah. Now, if you want to get, you know, like serious with it, I can go over some requirements for you to put JSS in front of your name if you would like to do that. But that might be for another video. It might be for another video because there's some, there's some lore as to why I say what I'm going to say in terms of those requirements. But for now, though, we're going to focus on this fabric and this LED6 that I still say you all are sleeping on. First things first, though, as always, we radiate the airdrop. As always, you know what I'm saying? If I don't have a radiation grenade on me, I'm, radi I'm radiating the airdrop from, from the get-go. Simple as that. That's the thing I started doing now at the time of this recording as well. It was really tricky to see his shadow, let alone him. But once he kept spinning like a rotisserie chicken in Walmart, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about, then I knew where his head was. And all you gotta do is wait for a split second to make sure they don't move, and then fire. And so, that's how I got an M82 on Fisk. And look, where else was he going to go, right? That's a whole boat action sniper rifle that, like, one hits to the chest. Of course it's going to go up here. I mean, he could have went and overlooked the suburbs, but... I mean, where else was he really going to go? This thing is powerful at mid to long range. Devastating at short range. But if you miss, you're pretty much a sitting duck for about, like, three seconds. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm over here thinking... Well, what, what, is, what was he going for? You know? And then that happens. And I'm like, hmm. I guess I should walk over here and find out. I guess I should. So I'm walking over here. And I start couch walking because I think I hear somebody. Then I go prone. And I'm watching the road. But then I hear what sounds like an SVU. We already know who the more dangerous threat is. We already know. So I'm looking at the map. And I'm thinking. There's only. Maybe about minimum two people here. 
There is a lot more map. There is a lot more map I can check out. One more, look at my map one more time. But now I come in that sentiment. And I walk away. Just because you hear somebody. Don't mean that you gotta. Like that you are obligated to kill them. Let alone stalk them. There's plenty of other things to do. Rather than wait in one spot. And hope you hear something. The map is, or the maps in this game are as big as they are for a reason. Play the map. Not one area. And good thing I moved too. Because somebody uses the detector. That's the phone ringing. I really don't give a fuck. Y'all know I don't answer phones in this game. Because it goes against my play style. But now we enter what we call hypermobility. Because I'm trying to find what's the next best thing to do. What's the next best thing that I can do that can take my XP gain from the current game to the next level? I have a choice here. I could swing to the left and open up that comp station again and do some more bad shit to the comp station. I could, and you see I'm thinking about it. I really am. You see I'm looking over that way. But to all intents and purposes, that's going back and doing the same thing. You, you never, like, repeat the same action twice. Or at least you attempt you attempt not to. So I put L86 back on my back. And I go up here. And also, I'm looking at that yellow house because we all know somebody spawns right there. If you play the game long enough. So, I'm walking up here. And I realize right now, I don't have a radiation grenade. But... I am near the airdrop area. And we all know somebody's usually up here on this freaking cliff area. The devs need to do something about this. This is like an overpowered area. So, I go prone. Remember this spot, people. I go prone and I do a little bit of a search. I don't get shot at. No gunshots ring out. No white directional indicator of where a bullet is coming from. Nothing. Okay. Still nothing. Look at directly at that freaking atoll right there, whatever the fuck geographical feature that shit's called. And nothing. So I realize now that it's a bit quiet. You hear that? The sound of silence. Why is it so quiet? Ain't no way everybody died this early in the game. Ain't no way. Now, if Lone Wolf turned on, I believe it. But in this scenario right here, I highly doubt it. I'm even next to this house where some raincoat always is, camping it, thinking it's their house.
Now to those of you who, who are like, Jet, why did you shoot the guy when he was running up and down this pier? Did you not hear that silent ass VSS try to take me out like two minutes earlier? If I would have shot, I would have reaffirmed his suspicion that I was still here. Think about the bigger picture. Because the bigger picture is what everybody can see, including your enemies. But if you think too small and you go for something too early, then you get swallowed up. It's an outlander, kill outlander, outlands out here. And that shit's a mouthful to say, but it's legit the honest truth. And what's funny is I really thought that I didn't record the first part of the, uh, the first part of this encounter, but I did. So, lucky y'all. Lucky y'all. I'll be sure to catch y'all in the next episode. Until next time, peace.